Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 2 of Mule ESP tutorials you will be seeing on how to develop and deploy a new Mule project. So first we have to open the AnyPoint Studio which we have installed in our previous video. So to create a new Mule project you have to go to file, go to new There's some problems with the mouse I'm using. Okay. And uh, yes, done. Finally, a new mule project. <coughs> Let's name this project as test run. Okay. So you don't have to check in any of others just click finish so this first program would be a simple uh, uh, file to file transfer that is we will be transferring some files from a folder location to another folder location okay so the project is getting created yes so we have got a new project created okay so this is a palette in which you need to design your mule flow so as I said this is going to be a simple file to file transfer so I need a file this is called as your palette or the designer so you can see that there are different uh, tabs in this so this one is called as the connectors and if you click this you will have different different uh, nodes that you will be using so as this is a basic tutorial you will be using a simple file node alone so just drag it and drop it over here so this would be my input so just to make sure that my uh, to log the transfer messages i will have a logger node as well just type in whatever node you want so I if I need a logger node I it is enough for me to type logger so we'll get that node so we'll put a logger node over here so again my destination will be a folder location so let me type file and we'll get all the nodes related with the name file okay <coughs> so my message is created all we have to do is to fill the parameters for each node so the path from which the file will be picked so I have already created uh, some sample folders so in C drive I have a folder called source which should be my source folder so I have it now and in this logger I can give any messages or um, so let me give the messages that transfer has started so once it the flow comes to this node it will display the message the transfer has started so let me go to that second file node which would be our destination again in C drive I have created another folder to be the destination so C destination so that's it the flow is ready and uh, if everything is fine you will not see this X mark so let me save the file so I have saved the file so you can see that the X mark has gone and the flow is clear now so this is my message flow model so this message flow model equivalent XML configuration can be seen over here so if you click this configuration XML tab you can see the same message flow equivalent details in an XML pattern so if you see that we have selected a file node and the input path is C source and the destination path is 
see destination and you can see the message that we have given so it's like uh, if we want to do some modification if you do over here it will be changed in my message flow as well so if I say that do you modify the transfer has started now go save your file and go to the message flow now and if you click on this logger you can see that it has changed now so this is an equivalent of your message flow the configuration XML okay so now let me show you both the folders for you so this is the source folders in which we don't have any files as of now and uh, this is the destination folder which we don't have any files as of now so what I will do is I will copy some files from this folder folder called sample file to the source folder okay so it has been copied okay now let me deploy our mule flow so you have to right click and go to run as a mule application just click this and you will see the flow getting deployed in the console over here so you can see the flow is deployed sorry deployed and the file transfer also happened let me maximize this for you So the flow has been deployed and if you see this the files has been picked and if for uh, we had five files placed over there so you can see that for each file it has processed it has the info message as the transfer has started now so if we go to the destination location you can see all the files over here and all the files from the source could have been deleted that's it so this is how you develop a simple mule flow and deploy it and thanks for watching this video so we will see with other examples in the upcoming videos thank you